हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन फोकस प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज चाइनाज स्पॉन्ज सिटीज पॉइंट ऑफ फोकस विल बी द न्यूज स्पॉन्ज सिटीज वाई वॉज द इनिशिएट लॉन्च वॉट हैज बिन डन सो फार लिमिटेशन एंड प्रिलिम्स एम सी क्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द न्यूज चाइना हैज बिन हिट बाय डिवास्टेटिंग फ्लड्स इन द रिसेंट वीक्स इन अनजेटिंग सिटीज एंड कॉजिंग डेथ्स एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल डैमेज एज वेल एज रेजिंग क्वेश्चन about the effectiveness of its 2015 spawn city initiative aimed at reducing urban flood risk the initiative was launched to boost flood resilience in major cities and make better use of rain water through architectural engineering and infrastructural tweaks in july alone floods and related geological disasters caused 142 deaths and disappearances destroyed 2300 homes and caused direct economic losses of 15.78 billion yuan that is 2.19 billion dollars now why was the initiative launched china has long sought to improve the way it handles extreme weather and make highly populated cities less vulnerable to flooding and drought the sponge city initiative was designed to make greater use of lower impact nature based solutions to better distribute water and improve drainage and storage those solutions included the use of permeable asphalt the construction of new canals and ponds and also the restoration of wetlands which would not only ease water logging but also improve the urban environment breakneck urbanization has encased vast stretches of land in impermeable concrete often along banks of major rivers that traditionally served as flood plains with wetlands paved over and nowhere for surplus water to settle water logging and flooding was common place according to 2018 data 641 out of 654 large and medium sized cities in china were vulnerable to flooding and water logging with 180 facing flood risk every year what has been done so far studies show that many of the local pilot initiatives launched so far have had a positive effect with low impact projects like green roofs and rain gardens reducing runoffs but the implementation has so far been patchy a total of 30 pilot small cities were selected in 2015 and 2016 by last year only 64 of china's 654 cities has produced legislation to implement spawn city guidelines researchers said in january now moving on to limitation even if spawn city measures had been implemented in full they would have been unable to prevent this year's disasters zhengzhou in henan province was one of the most enthusiastic pioneers of spawn city construction allocating nearly 60 billion yuan to the program from 2016 to 2021 but it was unable to deal with its heaviest rainfall in history in 2021 experts believe spawn city infrastructure can only handle no more than 200 mm that is 7.9 inches of rain per day at the height of the rain storms that lashed beijing at the end of july rainfall at one station reached 745 mm over 3 and a half days In July 2021, Zhengzhou saw rainfall in excess of 200 mm in just 1 hour. Authorities are also playing catch up to climate change. This year's heavy rain hit cities in the normally arid north where spawn city development is less advanced. Now moving on to prelims MCQ. The spawn cities project are famous with respect to Nepal, Bangladesh, India or China. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.